Did you ever feel as though you just simply can't stay focused? You just simply can't stay on track. Everything going around you is like shiny little butterflies flying into your field of view and distracting you from things. I've got something that might help. And it is all about how we can be like our hard drives. Wait, what? That's coming up next on this episode of the VO Heroes Podcast. If you've ever heard me talk about my insanely over-engineered uh, method of backing up for recovery, all of the stuff that I do on my computer, and I'll put a link in the show notes so you can find it, you may look at it and go, you're out of your mind. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drag the stuff that I think is important out of my documents folder, and I'm going to put it on, uh, you know, a thumb drive or something. Who knows? Um, but if you just consider it that the reason that I am so detail-oriented is the nicest way to put that, so detail-oriented about how I back up and why I back up and the process and the reason for doing it, it might help you in another area of life. The reason that I back up the way I back up is not just to have extra copies of things that are valuable to me, but actually so that if disaster strikes, I can be back up and running a lot faster than I would be if I didn't do it the way I do it. So it's all about recovery, not disaster. So what does this have to do with being distracted all the time? So staying focused is a tough thing sometimes, even if you're really skilled at it, especially in the world today. It's nuts. It feels like on a fairly regular basis, we have lost all control and all uh, humanity when it comes to how we relate to each other, uh, politics, medicine, health, mental health. It's just, it's crazy. It's hard to stay focused. And that's on a macro level. On a micro level, so many things are intruding into our lives to know that we have other options. We can check our email. We can look at social media. We could, uh, you know, check our messages, uh, read, uh, you know, what's been posted in our favorite groups. Who knows? The point is, we have a lot of distractions begging for our attention. And if we try to stay focused because we're going to set some sort of record about ignoring distractions, yeah, that's one way of going about it. But what I want you to do is give yourself a break and simply use the notion of recovery as a way to up your game in terms of staying focused. Here's how you do that. You're going to be distracted. Things are going to pop up. They're going to grab your attention away from whatever it is that you want to pay attention to. You're going to be distracted. Take a moment and notice that. Once you notice it, it's easier to say, oh, I've been distracted. Let me go back to what it is that I've been doing. So be ready to recover. Use that moment to recover and make recovery your main goal to get back on track, especially if you're working on a deadline or you're working on something that's really, really crucial, really important. Staying focused can be life-saving. But instead of worrying about, oh, I got distracted a million times, how about I recovered a million times? I refocused. A million times. Yeah, I was distracted a lot. It's going to happen because it's going to happen. But it's okay. I recognized it. I noticed it. And I got back to work. I got back to what I was focused on. So the way that ties into what it's like with backup is you're, you're doing this for recovery's sake, not just the disaster of having something bad happen to your data. So know that you're going to be distracted. Notice when you're distracted. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody, you know, I had a little message, a little notification popped up on my phone and I'm distracted. I'm distracted. I'm going to, I'll check that later. I'm going to go back to my phone. I'm going to go back to what I'm doing. 
Uh, do it for recovery. Do it for your ability to get back on track. Once you get into that habit of noticing the distraction and then doing something about it, you're going to find it less and less and less something to worry about that you will be distracted. And I'm hoping that when I share these things with you, that it's not a distraction. I hope it's something that helps you. I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments below on VOHeroes.com. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, be notified when we come out with a new, uh, a new episode, or if you'd like to hit the like button, I'd really appreciate that. And I thank you for joining me. I'm David H. Lawrence the, uh, the 17th. I thank you for watching and for listening, and I will see you in the next episode of the VO Heroes podcast.